Okay, kind of quick talk about shellac. Now this is real shellac. That's good for priming your stuff. Um, if you got something real porous, you might want to put, I don't know, a whole lot of coats or get something a little bit thicker than this to put on first. And this is Sherman Williams primer. Now it's, it's shellac. It says shellac primer, but it's synthetic. It's not real. But it works good. I accidentally used it on Jenny because I didn't know no better. Anyway, it leaves a little bit of a texture and it's white in color, but pretty good stuff just in case you want to prime something. And I had just a little bit of roughness. Anyway, uh, back to my twisted stump. I'm gonna try to dust her off a little bit with a leaf blower. spray it with shellac several coats we'll see what happens here it's still a little bit of green alive and you got your um, end cuts what I'm talking about it's porous I might come in here and put a coat of concrete sealer or paint so my shellac's gonna soak in it's not really gonna close these pores up down here it's dead so what rubber seeps up under that crack right there will stick real hard not worried about it too much, but if you ever get a piece of rubber stuck on something that won't come off, you'll ruin your rubber. So you really got to let it cure real damn good. All right. And I got one more project I'm going to do next. Got this other piece of twist. I'll mount it up too. All right. Thanks for looking.